Oh, hi. Good day, everyone. This is Dr. Iris, isa pong online entrepreneur. Today, I will be teaching you all about creating a very basic, very simple logo. For a more advanced tutorial on logos, you can watch yung design uh, tutorial ni Coach Vener Sarmiento. For now, we will do the simple logo that you can use for your websites, you can use for your posts. So how do you do that? Pasok po tayo sa Canva. If you don't have a Canva account yet, do, uh, sign up po muna tayo sa Canva account. You can use the free account to create your own logos. So first, pag nasa loob na kayo, once you've signed up, then you will come into this interface. So itong interface na ito. And what you can do is you just hit this button here, create a design. And then magda drop down siya, you will see so many different things here. And then you want to go to the logo. So the usual uh, default size is 500 by 500 pixels. So title, we can do um, title muna, which is logo, let's say biz logo. Okay. And the beauty of using Canva, napakadali po niya. You don't even have to think about, you know, not all of us are born designers po. Ano? Uh, so, Ang kagandahan nito is may ready na siyang mga templates. And what you can do is you just choose um, something that appeals to you that you can tweak, pwedeng palitan. So marami dito iba't ibang logos. So just explore po. You can explore different ones here until you come across something na pwede na ninyong gamitin. Itong mga elements na papalitan niya. So the elements are yung mga drawings, yung text na papalitan din niyan. So say for example, for me, uh, let's say I am in, uh, let's say, food business po. Ano? So hanap tayo. Food logos. Pwede siya nyo yung isearch dito sa taas. Food drink logos. So then you're gonna come across itong mga samples niya dito. So mga ready na siyang templates. And you just pick whichever, you know, like say for example, you're selling something vegan. Then you can just go ahead and choose that. Right? So ito, nag-populate na yung template na yon. Kagandahan dito, this is flexible. You can certainly change colors here. So paano palitan ang kulay? Just click on yung link, for example, yan. And then you can, you know, choose a color from ito, yung parang color, ano, palette na ganyan. Or existing colors. Ito may colors ako dito kasi I have some branding colors already available. Meron ding mga default colors dito. You choose whatever works for you. So say for example, sa branding ninyo, you use the, the, you know, the violet palette. So purple, violet. Then you can change these according to yung palette na yun. So for example, the dark one, you can change into that. Yan. So nakita nyo, nagpalit na siya. The, the lighter green, you can change into the lighter purple. And then this one, you can change into even this type of purple, right? And then finally, yung last bit, you can choose a, a very, very light purple. So pwede kang maghanap lang in that spectrum. So pili tayo ito. So then you can choose a very light one. Very light. Ayan. So as you can see, yung apat na mga kulay dito na palitan na. And then if you want to change the name, it's very easy. You just go to that yung text um, container na yun. So yun, every time you click, it goes to a container. So pwede mo lang kunyari palitan ng uh, low carb Greens, for example, is the one you want to give it. And certainly, ito, pwedeng na-adjust ito, pwedeng ganyan. Pwedeng palakihin by highlighting this and then papalakihin natin dito yung fonts. Pwedeng ganyan. Pwedeng paliitin. You can adjust any way that you want. And then, pwede mo rin palitan yung kulay nito. So, to go with this branding, so, tingnan ninyo, pag sinaslide nyo, it will show you kung gitna na siya. See? It will appear yung, yan. So, that's gitna. And you can even change the text. So to change that, you just go to that container. So ito, that's the text container, yeah, right? Yung naka-highlight na yan. And then you can change the color here, change the color of the text. So you can do, let's say, purple to reflect yung branding ninyo, right? And then here, you can change this into your slogan. So clean, eat, clean, low carb. Ayan. So you already have yung logo. Ngayon, paano ito i-export? You can export it in a few different ways. Kung gusto ninyong transparent yung background, you can certainly do that. 
So especially kung gagamitin nyo to sa mga web pages, transparent background is very easy to do. How you can do that is you hit the download and you just choose PNG. Yan yung suggested. And then transparent background. And then you just download it. Mada-download na siya as transparent. Pwede nyo nang gamitin. So I can put in here biz logo transparent PNG and save it to my desktop and it will be ready. Okay, ngayon naman, kung hindi naman transparent ang gusto nyo, then just go ahead and download that as it is. So, download as is. Huwag nyo itik yung transparent and it will come out as uh, a logo with a square background. So, that's how easy it is to create a logo in Canva. Play around with the different designs dito. So many choices po. Very easy. You, you can do this in under 5 minutes. For more advanced designs, please watch out for yung more advanced video, uh, more advanced logo making, care of Servener Sarmiento. So do check out his page. Nasa baba ang link. And happy logo making. For more resources po, check out levelupwithdriris.com para sa mga free trainings. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.